Hey folks and welcome to another video. My name's Ilhat and today I have another weapon guide for you. But instead of just covering one weapon, we're going to cover several of them as today we're going to take a look at the pistols of Pavlov VR. The pistols of Pavlov VR play a big role in the first round of each half in Search and Destroy, as you can only purchase them then. This has given those rounds the name of Pistol Round. Outside of Pistol Round, pistols are meant as a sidearm to your main weapons of the game. They come in all different sizes and shapes, and each of them have a unique role within the game. When used at close range, they can prove to be quite effective, but each pistol works in a slightly different way. Each pistol is a little bit different when it comes to actually aiming it, and we'll go over specific techniques on each pistol as we get to them. In general, the key to really good pistol aim is a steady, dominant hand. At first, it can be easy to miss, but if your front sight is even slightly off-center, which would be caused by your hands not being steady, then your shot will go slightly off-center as well, which, at range, can more often than not cause you to miss your target completely. To practice this, I'll go onto a map or even the shooting range and focus on centering my sights first, and then shooting at a wall or target and getting a very tight grouping. Do this slow first to get a feel for how fast the pistol recoil resets. To apply this in-game, Hop into any deathmatch and use the pistol you intend to practice. The focus here is not kills and deaths, and that might be hard to accept at first. Your focus when doing this should just be aim and accuracy. Practice actual good habits and force yourself to do so, even if the situation of a bot or player shooting at you causes you to panic a little bit. As you start to improve, you'll notice that the kills will come over time. Some pistols would be easier to practice in deathmatch due to the mode always spawning armor and helmet, so a server I recommend to practice all the pistols is the Pistol Playground server, where you're spawned in with no armor. Focus especially on going for headshots or for going for consistent body shot hits. You'll notice that with consistent practice of good habits that your pistol aim will start to improve. In addition to this, you might notice that your positioning will improve as well due to the fact that you'll instinctively be trying to put yourself in an advantageous position. But then again, the focus with any practice like this is aim. So to start, let's go over the pistol that you'll all undoubtedly start with at the beginning of the round in Search and Destroy, the 1911. The M1911 is the starting pistol for all players, and it's the only weapon besides the knife that is completely free. It costs zero dollars and zero cents. It holds eight rounds plus one in the chamber, does 25 damage, and is capable of killing an enemy in two headshots if they're wearing a helmet. The 1911 is best used up close, as it suffers from bad armor penetration and has the slowest bullet velocity of all the pistols. If you want to use this pistol at mid-range, you're going to need to aim the sights a bit higher up and you'll need to lead your shots, like, a lot. This fact alone makes the 1911 harder to use than most pistols, and so most will only use it if they're using armor on pistol round or if they're buying loads of utility on pistol round. Outside of pistol round and against armored players, you'll need to dump 7 rounds out of the 8 in the mag to secure a kill with body shots. Therefore, it's most recommended to try to get up close and get 2 headshots if the player is wearing a helmet. The 1911's one benefit is that it gives $800 per kill, making it a very good weapon to rack up early economy with, especially on second pistol round where kill bonus is applied. Overall, it's a pistol that's okay at best, but has some unique benefits to it. Next up is a pistol that doesn't see too much use as it's pretty much outclassed by most of the other pistols, and this weapon is the Beretta. The Beretta is the cheapest pistol besides the 1911 to buy, as it's $250, but you're buying what you pay for essentially. Low armor pen, a low damage value of just 20, moderate recoil, and 3 headshots to kill a helmeted player are the main things to hold this weapon back. While on the right hands it can be used to land headshots, it's better to use other weapons to do the same job. Against armor, just forget it, you'll need to hit a player 8 to 9 times to put them down. The Beretta's niche is that it works well while being dual wielded, but then even doing so really isn't advised. Outside of pistol round, you won't see this weapon being used much, if at all. Next up on our list is a pistol that I personally hope gets a little bit of love, but is still pretty effective in the right hand. The pistol we're talking about is the 5.7. The 5.7 sits at $500 and is an okay pistol on pistol round as it does 20 damage like the Beretta. Where the 5.7 shines, however, is against armored players, as it has 100% armor pen, meaning that it'll still do 20 damage per shot to an armored player. 
In addition to this, the 5.7 is a two-hit headshot to helmeted players. The 5.7 is best used up close to get the surprise on someone and to steal their weapon. It can be fired at a relatively fast fire rate, although fire it too fast and it'll become pretty inaccurate. The 5.7's downfall, however, is its low kill bonus of just $300, which is the lowest of all the pistols. From an economic standpoint, this weapon really isn't worth it to use if you want to rack up money. Other than this, the 5.7 is a decent pistol to use, and again, I hope it does get a little love in the future updates of this game. The other pistol at the $500 price point, and without a doubt the best pistol to use on pistol round, is the Glock. The Glock, like some of the other pistols, does 20 damage per shot, and it suffers from many of the same things we talked about with the Beretta. Low armor pen, 3 headshots to kill a helmeted player, but it doesn't have as much recoil as the Beretta has on single fire. So then, what makes the Glock good? What makes it the best pistol to use on pistol round if I just spent the past 10 seconds trashing it? You see that little fun switch on the right? That's what makes it good. Yep, the Glock has a burst mode in addition to its single fire mode. However, in the main version of the game, there is zero burst delay, meaning the Glock can be shot fully automatic, and the recoil is decently manageable, if you know what you're doing. This, coupled with the fact that the bullets are coming out at a rate of fire of 1200 rounds per minute, means that the Glock's damage capabilities are insane when compared to the other pistols. So. How do you control the Glock on full auto? The Glock burst for the first couple of bursts is a straight line essentially. After this it does get a bit wobbly. So to start, you'll need to get a feel for what two bursts feels like. So practice against a wall and practice at different distances as well. After I've controlled two bursts and gotten good at that, I'll swap to three bursts with no delay. By this point you'll need to be pulling the Glock down to your waist or your belt line. So then, how are you supposed to aim down the sights? Well guess what, you don't. You aim with the bullet tracers instead. It takes a bit to figure out, but once you do, you'll get a general feel of how to land 2-3 to three bursts around a person's head. Even then, with the Glock being a 5 hit kill to unarmored, you only need to land 2 bursts on a player. With a 21 round magazine, this should be relatively easy to do. What makes this weapon a beast is its fire rate again of 1200 rounds a minute, tying it with the P90 for the fastest firing automatic weapon in the game. Outside of pistol round, you won't see the Glock used too much. It does work as a solid anti-eco weapon as it can shred unarmored players, but against armor it really only works at close ranges. Even then you'll most likely be using rifles against armored players, but with a fast fire rate, manageable recoil, and a high damage output, it's no wonder the Glock is the best pistol to use on pistol round. Before we move on to the next pistol, I'd like to note that the Glock is being updated with a burst delay of 0.35 seconds in the newest update of the game. This change is currently live on the beta branch of Pavlov, so be sure to test it. The key to the weapon with a burst delay is to either go directly for headshots, or to let the second or third bullet hopefully hit the head, since the recoil again is a straight line. In addition to this, the price is being increased to $650. While this will nerf the weapon a bit, I do feel that it'll still be a solid choice on pistol round, especially at close range. Moving on to another great pistol, at $650 we have the Tech 9. The Tech 9 is best used for mid range engagements on pistol round, as it boasts an impressive 25 damage and has a 24 round magazine giving it the largest mag of all the pistols in the game. In addition to this, its armor pen isn't bad, as it's 50%. This means that to an armored player, it'll take 6 hits to kill instead of 4. To a helmeted player, the Tech 9 does require 3 headshots, so it's on par with some of the other small caliber pistols. To actually aim with the Tech 9, it's a little bit different as the grip points on it are different than all the other pistols. The Tech 9 tends to play more like a rifle without virtual stock, and the iron sights on it don't really help it either. But for what it lacks in iron sights, it makes up for in its accuracy as it's one of the most accurate pistols, even while firing fast. The Tech 9 works best when you can either get headshots or tag the enemy repeatedly to make them an easy target to finish off. Outside of pistol round, you won't see this pistol used too much, but especially with the Glock nerf we talked about, I would imagine that the Tech 9 will get a little bit more of the spotlight in the newest update. Now, we get on to the big guns, and at $800 we have two pistols. First, we'll go over the one and the only Desert Eagle. 
The Desert Eagle boasts an impressive 40 damage and even with its fall off, it remains a 3 hit kill at any range. Granted you're not shooting somebody in the foot. What makes the Deagle really stand out is its ability 1 hit headshot at any range, no matter if the player is wearing a helmet or not. The one tap, or as some players affectionately refer to it as Juan Deaging, is an absolute game changer. The ability to do this on a save round and steal an enemy's weapon from them can completely change the course of the round. Even getting two body shots on a player with a Desert Eagle is massive as it puts them into one shot range of most weapons. On pistol round the Desert Eagle is sometimes used and its niche is to be able to do massive damage at long range and to be able to penetrate thicker walls that the other pistols cannot. Compared to our next pistol, the Desert Eagle is a little bit more consistent at range but loses out at close range, unless you're getting headshots of course. Next up is the other higher caliber pistol, the Revolver. What was once the king of save rounds and essentially a pocket op that fired faster than an op has fallen into a more niche yet balanced role. This is due to the damage fall off update that nerfed the weapon. Despite this, the revolver is still very much an effective weapon and it's best used up close to get the two hit body shot kill. The other skill that you need to learn with the weapon is how to reload it fast. I find that the best way is to get it close to your hip that you're grabbing ammo from and actually put it a little bit under your hip so that as soon as you grab the individual bullet it gets put into the cylinder. Do note that the reload speed of this weapon is greatly affected by ping and so the higher your ping the slower you have to reload it. I wouldn't use this weapon if you have more than say 200 ping. You'll even start to feel the slowness at about 100 ping. The iron sights of this weapon can be a bit tricky, however, they're not completely unusable by any means. The best way to use them is to aim the weapon so that you just barely see the red of the front sight. This will ensure that your shots won't go too high or too low. It takes some practice and this is why, like the rest of the pistols, I highly recommend learning the weapon in deathmatch. On pistol rounds, this weapon is sometimes used, but with the close range dominance the Glock currently has, it doesn't see too much use. If anything, it still serves the same role as the Desert Eagle. Ultimately, while the revolver can do damage at range, it's best used on maps that feature closer range engagements. That's going to do it for this one folks. If you have any further questions or want to add anything, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I hope this guide was useful for you and I hope you're able to improve your pistol game with this guide. For those of you curious, a link to my weapon stat sheet is in the description if you want to know everything about each pistol in the game. If this video was helpful or if you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like. And if you want to see more guides like this one, feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified on when I upload next. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Take it easy.